Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a super quick 15 minute paneer recipe. All you need is some fresh tomatoes, paneer and a simple set of masalas which is there in your kitchen. The two of the most important flavoring ingredients are the cardamom powder and the kasuri methi. Do ensure that you have that in your pantry. So without wasting any time, let's just dive right in and I'll show you how to make this dish. So into a mixer grinder, I'm just going to go ahead and add in the chopped tomatoes. Just roughly chop them and we'll blend them to make a nice smooth puree. Okay, and that's it. My next step is to put all the masalas together. I'm going to show you that just now. So to begin into a pan, just add a little bit of oil. You can also add ghee for additional flavor. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add in the garlic. ginger and the onions. We'll just saute the ginger, garlic and onions until the onions become lightly soft and tender and just slightly brown. You don't have to caramelize them. All right, notice that the onions have softened and have turned lightly brown as well and this is just perfect. At this stage, I'm just gonna go ahead and add in the tomato puree that we made earlier. That's it. As simple as that, I'm just going to go ahead and add all the remaining spices, which is the turmeric powder, the red chili powder, coriander, and the garam masala, some jaggery for a little bit of sweetness, and cardamom powder. And that's it. We'll just give it a stir, and I'm going to add in the salt and the paneer, and we'll give it a brisk boil for about three to four minutes and our quick paneer recipe will be done. Wonderful. Just gonna go ahead and add in the salt. Gonna add in the fresh cream as well. And the paneer. Just gonna give it a stir and cover the pan and boil it for about five minutes, not more than that, and you will have a delicious tasting paneer. Wonderful. Wonderful, it's been simmering for about uh, uh, 10 minutes now and this looks wonderful. Just give it a stir, ensure that you can stir it intermittently while it's simmering so that uh, all the flavors get in and the tomatoes doesn't get stuck at the bottom. Wonderful. At this stage, I'm just gonna go ahead and add in the kasuri methi, lots of it, because it brings in a lot of great flavors. Okay, just give it a stir and that's it. Our quick paneer recipe is done. I'm just gonna give it a taste to see how it how it is and see if you need any more spices, you can add it as well. Mm, perfect, okay, maybe just a tad bit of salt and we'd be good to go. I'm just gonna mix it up and that's it. My paneer is ready and I can't wait to serve it for dinner along with some hot fulkas. So I hope you enjoyed watching this super simple and quick recipe of how to make a paneer masala at home. Wasn't that really simple? All it took was 15 minutes. Serve it along with some hot fulkas and along with some salad or a chatpata alu as well by the side. And I'm sure your friends and family would love it. Do give this recipe a try. And when you do, don't forget to share your feedback in the comments below. Take a snapshot of it, tag us across all your social channels. And I would love to hear back from you. Until then, until next time, happy cooking and healthy eating.